and here comes the countdown. Ten, now. Nine, he eight, tells us must because seven, the space suits look normal. Five, We're four, three, really big three, two, one, zero. Is it? Yeah. 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 Y
that that engine is continuing to so you burn, do like an angle that they're still on their, the right trajectory, all the systems it's actually are looking good, and it looks like they are. To play. As we see them just watching, yeah, like, it's probably a good sign, that means all the automatic uh, sequences yeah, are working yeah, well. So you, you don't hear too much chatter going from the control center from MCC, that's a good thing too. But almost to 10,000. Now you hear that word nominal. Go ahead, Mike, I'm sorry. When you hear that word nominal coming, no, it's fine. When you hear that word nominal, that's always good. Uh, that you know, that's that's the NASA jargon for everything is a okay. We're looking good, just like we expect. So we want to keep hearing that for a few more minutes and get those engines cut and get them in space safe. And there's that 10,000 kilometers per hour threshold, which is just over 6,200 miles per hour. And the picture on the right, I have to keep reminding myself that that's a live shot. It looks like the greatest science fiction movie ever produced. It's just so fantastic that the launch was a go today and has been a success so far. Really, really amazing stuff. David Curley, what's the feeling like on the ground? Are you seeing the first stage rocket at all coming back? Not yet. You can see it. Uh, it's got about another three minutes until it'll do its entry burn, and that's there are nine Merlin rocket engines right, on it. Nominal trajectory. Uh, they say everything is normal with their trajectory, meaning they're heading onto the right path to try and get on the effort to catch up to the space station. So you're seeing in the first stage, you can see those grid fins that you mentioned, Chris Jacobs, that will help guide it. Uh, but at 8.45, so plus 8.45, coming up in about two minutes, you'll see three of those nine engines fire to slow it down. The first stage doesn't have any of that protection when it comes back into the atmosphere. So they, the way they overcome that is by firing the engines and slowing it down enough that when it re-enters the atmosphere, it won't burn up, and it'll be a 34-second burn of that entry stage of those three engines to bring us in. And seeing some of these pictures of Doug and Bob in the capsule uh, is just remarkable. It, uh, we haven't seen a lot of uh, American Thank astronauts. You the still good. And just to clarify, that picture on the left is the stage two rocket propelling the Crew Dragon capsule. The picture on the right is actually the stage right. one Falcon right. 9 right. rocket right. returning to Earth. So those are actually moving in opposite directions as we pass the 15,000 kilometers per hour mark, which is approaching 9,400 miles per hour. You know, Chris, SpaceX would love to get this uh, booster back. Uh, and as we mentioned earlier, they learn a lot when they get these rockets back and take a look at them. But it is secondary. That's the picture on your left. The second stage, as Massimino said, that's what you want to burn. You want that burn to go exactly well, as it should on the right trajectory. This was an yeah. instantaneous launch. Launch. They had to go at the right time. There's your start of your entry burn on the right. Can you see it? It's a little bit early, but they're coming. Falcon 9 rocket is so this coming is the in burn hot. How calm they are. Yeah, this slows it down. This is going for about 35 seconds, as I mentioned, just to slow it down. And if you watch those grid fins, you can start to see them kind of move. And that's what keeps this, as we heard earlier in one of the pieces, you know, putting a, winding a pencil, that's what keeps it uh, north and south or up and down as it's coming down back in into Doug land. And, and as I said, that drone ship Doug and Bob, 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 that burn is over. The next thing we're going to see, we will see that at 927, in fact, all Everything's good, they say. That's what those are the reports from Mission Control. So coming up in about a minute, we'll see the final burn. And uh, as Davenport has told us before, uh, you don't always get to see the landing because uh, the the you know you got a camera that's getting shaken. And, you know this is a rocket. I, just hope that's coming back. I think the Falcon. Then I saw something the Dragon too, though. Kind of a dragon crew and there's the twenty-five. But I think it's a Falcon rocket. Hour, which is fifteen thousand five hundred thirty-four miles per hour. So wow. again. Continue to accelerate as they make their way to orbit. And back to Arlo's step. And back to down. There's the second stage engine cutoff right there. Dragon shuttle. And that will be jet. That's good news, Chris. Well. That means that uh, that it means that they've got Dragon their uh, six, nominal orbital insertion. There they go. Launch escape system is disarmed. That's great news. And that's even better news. So they're in the orbit they're supposed to be in. They have just de-armed de the escape the system. They right are there. where they're supposed to be at the right time. And in a couple of minutes, we will see separation of the dragon and loss of that uh, second stage. That's really good news. And Chris, you asked a little bit about the atmosphere down here. There were 
some people here, even though they didn't open the gates, who were applauding as that Falcon 9 took off and uh, really